Hello Rackstars, I'm Diego and in this tutorial I will show you how to visualize your end devices data in Things board with the MQTT protocol external broker via Whiskey Edge V2 built-in network server. First, log into your Things board account. If you do not have an account yet, you must create one. You can find the link in the video description. You will see the Things board overview page once logged in. After logging in, you will need a data converter for the uplinks. To create one, head to the data converters menu. To add a data converter, click on the add data converter plus icon and choose to create new converter. In the name field, type a name for the decoder, for example, uplink decoder. Leave the type as uplink. For this example, we will use Wisblock Kit 4. If you are going to do the same, you can find the decoder in the description for more information. The decoder is viable for devices that support the Cayenne LPP format. Click on the Add button to add the uplink decoder. Now that the uplink data converter is ready, you can proceed to add the MQTT integration. Click on the Integrations menu on the left. Click on the Add Integration plus button to add one. For integration type, choose MQTT in the name field. Give a name to the integration, for example, MQTT integration and click Next. In the uplink data converter, choose the decoder you created earlier and click Next. Skip by downlink converter by clicking Skip as it is not needed. The host field is for the MQTT broker, which will be used for the messages. The external broker used in this example is broker.hivemq.com. You can find it in the video description. It is a free public MQTT broker, ideal for testing. You can use other ones or your own broker. Then in the topics filter, you need to set the subscription topics to which the things board client must subscribe. For Whiskey Edge gateways, you can find the topics in the article for more information. In the topics, you need to change the application name with the name of the application and the device EUI with the EUI of the device. Finally, click on the Add button to create the integration. Now that the Things board is configured, you need to configure the gateway. Add the application, register the end device and set the integration. Start by accessing the gateway. Once logged in, head to the LoRa menu. By default, the gateway works as a built-in network server. If yours is not, make sure to change it. Go to the Applications tab. Click on the Add Application button or the Add One Now link to add a new application. On the new page, fill in the following information. Application name, type a name for the application. Application description, you have the option to write a description of the application. Application type, from the drop down menu, select the type of application. You can choose between unified application key, where all devices will use the same application key and separate application keys, where each device will have its own application key. In this example, we will use the unified application key but you can choose which option fits you best. Selecting the Unified Key option pops up an Application Key field and an Auto Add Device button. You can type your Application Key in the Application Key field or use the Auto Generate button to generate one. In this example, we will use the Auto Add Device feature. The switch pops up an Application EUI field. The device will automatically be added to the application after Application EUI and Key Verification. Payload type from the drop down, select Cayenne LPP as the payload type and turn on the Only Forward Data Object feature. Once this is set, click on Save Application to add the application. Now, configure the device to join the network server. You can find the link on how to configure the Wisblock kit in the video description. The device will automatically register upon join request. You can check the registered device in the End Devices tab. Upon joining your device, head to LoRa, then Integration Interface Parameters section. Turn on the integration by clicking the Enable Integration Interface switch. By default, the integration mode is Generic MQTT. If this is not the case, select Generic MQTT as the integration mode. The default MQTT broker is in the built-in one. 
To point the MQTT client to the HiveMQ broker, you need to type broker.hivemq.com in the MQTT broker address field and then click Save Changes. After your device joins and sends uplink data, you can see it in Things Board, then Integrations, Your Integration, Events. The MQTT integration is ready. You can now proceed with processing the data. In this example, as we mentioned before, we are using the WizBlock Kit 4 Indoor Environment Monitor. The method to visualize the data for other devices is the same. After creating the data converter integration and getting some data in the event tab, this automatically creates a device in the default device group based on the decoder. Head to the device group menu. By default, in the device groups menu, you will find only one group named or. Click on the name to open the group. Here, you can find the created device. If you click on the device and head to the attributes tab, you will see the data from the node. To visualize the data, simply click on the desired value you want to visualize and click on the show on widget button. In this example, we will be choosing the temperature. On the next page, from current bundle drop-down menu, choose a desired widget for the data. We will be choosing analog gauges as the analog gauges has a widget for the temperature. After choosing the widget, click on add to dashboard. By default, the profile does not have a dashboard and you will need to create a new one. Choose create new dashboard and type a name for the dashboard in the new dashboard title field. For example, WISBLOCK. In that dashboard, you can add more widgets for the device. When you set the name for the dashboard, click on the add button to add the widget. Alternatively, you can check the open dashboard option. This will automatically open the created dashboard after the widget is added. If you have not checked the open dashboard option, you can easily navigate to dashboard groups menu, then all, name of your group, to see the added widget. You can do these steps for the other data on the device. The only difference is that when adding a widget, click on select existing dashboard and select the already created dashboard. In this case, the WISBLOCK kit. We hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want more of this, comment below and stay tuned.